How was your holiday, Tan? It's great. It's great? Yes. How about your Christmas? Uh, um, it's fun. It's fun? So do you have uh, the experience firecrackers there? There's many firecrackers like fireworks. No. No? Oh, okay. So I'll just prepare your book first. For a while. So, did you, you didn't have class uh, last week, right? Yes. Uh, so, you're on a vacation? Um, what did you do on that week? I play with my little brother. Ah, okay. That's why. So, um, I'll be sharing my screen first. Okay, there you go. Yes. Do you see my screen now? Yes. Okay. So last time we stopped at this page. Uh by using a an or some. So okay. So when will you use a? Ah? When the first letter of the word is a vowel. I mean consonant. Like B. M. P. Right? B, yes. M, and P are consonants. So, when you will use an? When you ask. When the first letter of the word is? Is a vowel. A vowel. Yeah, vowels like a, a, e, o, u. Like an orange. orange. Like an orange. Orange has starting letter O, right? So, how about some? When will you use some? When will you use some? When it is many. Like there is ES, S, right? All right? Like some peaches, some oranges, some flowers. <laughs> is that your brother? Yes. <laughs> Maybe he wants to learn also. Okay, so let's proceed to the next uh, lesson. Some uncountable nouns can be made countable by using these words. So, for example, a bottle of milk. Okay, can you read it again? A bottle of milk. 
Okay, next one. A glass of water. Yes. Next. A, a jug. A, a jug of water. Yes. A cup of tea. Next. A pancake of tea. A pocket. A pocket of tea. Next. A jar of honey. 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 Um, a loaf. A loaf of bread. Yes. A side of bread. A carton ton of milk. A carton of milk. Next. A carton of milk. A can of coke. Coke. A bottle of coke. A bowl of sugar. A kilo. A kilo of meat. A bar of soap. Soap. A bar of chocolate. A a piece of, of chocolate. A piece. A piece of chocolate. Okay. A piece of cheese. A piece of furniture. It's a furniture. Okay, so again, there are uncountable nouns. It means uncountable nouns that it cannot be counted, right? So for example, a milk, um, rice, a tea, a honey, a bread, a sugar, a meat. Soap, like chocolates, there are uncountable nouns, which means you cannot count it one by one. So, so can I ask you, Tan, if you can count your hair? Can you count your hair? Yes or no? No. no. So, it is an uncountable noun. So, you cannot count easily with your hair. Since it's so many, right? It's so many. You cannot count it one by one. So, um, some uncountable nouns can also be made as countable nouns. So, using... With the use of this, a bottle, a glass, a jug, a cup, a pocket, a jar of tea, of honey, you, it can be made as countable nouns, right? So when you when you say um like a honey, is it an uncountable nouns or countable? Only the word. A honey. Is it uncountable nouns or countable nouns? 
uncountable noun. Yes, it is uncountable noun since you cannot count a honey. Since it's liquid, right? So yes. we so um to count uh to make uncountable nouns to uncountable to countable nouns you will use a jar of honey. So you will use the word a jar. All right. Okay, let's proceed. So plurals of countable and uncountable nouns. Fill in the plural as an example. Okay, for example, some coke. So you can uh, turn it into two cans or bottles of coke. Right? Okay. How about a fish? How will you make this to plural? Um, three, three fish. Three fishes. Fishes. Yes, three fishes. How about a room? Rooms. All right, rooms. Five rooms. <laughs> and how about some jam? Uh, two, two jar. Jar. Jars of, of ham, of, of jam. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so. Two jars of jam. Okay. So how about some soap? Three, three bars, bars, bars of soap. All right. How about some lemonade? So, what? Bottles or jar? You can use two. Two. Let's use jars. Two jars of lemonade. How about a spoon? How will you make this to countable nouns? Three spoons. Okay, how about a flower? Two flowers. Yes, two flowers. Very good. How about some paper? Three. 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 Papers. Yes, you'll just add S. How about some T? Two cups of tea. Yes, two cups of tea. Very good. How about a table? Two tables. Okay. You can use two tables or two piece of table. So how about some bread? Two loaf 
loaf of bread. How about a skirt? Three skirts. Yes, three skirts. How about some water? Um, two, two glass, glass of, of water. How about an egg? You can four. count an egg. So you will just add. S, so it will become four eggs. How about some cheese? You cannot count a cheese. So two, two bar, four. two bars of cheese. How about milk again? Oh yeah, we, it's just one. How about milk? Three. You can use a bottle or a carton. Carton. Three, three bottles of three milk. Three bottles of milk. Very good. How about a man? Two men. men. Yeah, only men. Very good. Two men. How about a mouse? Three. Mice. Yes. How about coffee? Two. Two cups of coffee. Yes, two cups of coffee. Very good. You got all the correct answer. How about this one? This is the eighth. Eighth rule of countable and uncountable nouns. So, okay, listen. Adjectives takes no s in the plural so what is an adjective so an adjective is a word or phrase naming an attribute added to or grammatically related to a noun to modify or describe it so like nouns or pronouns. Okay, for example, adjectives like um, adorable people. People are adorable. There are adventurous, aggressive. Like for objects, they are bright, clear. It is. A word that describes or defines a noun or noun phrase. So adjectives defines a noun or a noun phrase. So for example, so adjectives takes no S in the plural. Like for example, a new record. So new here is an adjective this one so new here is an adjective okay what is an adjective again fan adjective take no s in the plural yes but adjectives is um is the one who defines the noun like um, Tanwa is beautiful. So, beautiful is the adjective and Tanwa is the noun. 
All right. So beautiful describes tanwa. Okay, gets? Do you understand? Okay, I will give more examples. For example, um, she is, wait, how about the aggressive cat? So where is the adjective in the word, in the sentence? The aggressive cat. Yes, the aggressive. And it defines the... What defines the aggressive? The... Cat. Right? So, the aggressive word defines the cat. All right? So, okay, I'll give more example. Is I will just shut it here. It is a bright color. Okay, so what which is the ad adjective? Is bright. Yes, it is bright. Then who defines the bright? It's color. Yes, the color. Very good. So, for this one, a new record. So, when it becomes a plural, it will now become two new records. So, the new here will not be added as S. Since the rule here is adjectives, takes no S in the plural. So, it will just stay the same and put S on the noun like for example it is a bright color so i'll just use this one so that you will not be confused a bright color so it will now become two bright colors all right all right, I will give more example, wait. How about... This one. A clear curtain. Okay, can you change that into an adjective? I mean a plural. A clear curtain. How will you change it into plural? You can use two, three, or four. What? I cannot hear you. Seven. Seven. Clear. First time. Very good. Seven clear curtains. Okay, very good. So here, for example, a chair. Four chairs. Since a chair, if it is only one, you can, you can still count on it. So if it is many, you will just add S on it since it is countable nouns 
So do you still uh, remember the first rule? Yes. So the first rule is when you when you can count or when you recognize that if a noun is countable or it means that uh, countable means that you can count on it. So you will just add S. All right. But if um, it is not countable, like for example, a milk right a milk and sugar so you should add um you'll add some or you will add like jars bars bottles cups so that it will now become a plural okay so here number two an old lady. How will you change it? Change it into plural. To ladies. what? Old ladies. Very good. Two old ladies. How will I change lady into ladies? Change. Nature. Change letter Y and, and add add letter What are the three letters that I will add? You can do it. I What's the two letters? Change Y and add I. You forgot? Yes, I E S. Very good. So, two old ladies. Okay, how about some chocolate? Two. Two. What? Two. Bars. Bars. But you can also also use or you can also add S, right? So it will become two chocolates. Right? So how about some honey? Three jar. Of honey. Yes, she jars of honey. How about a tall boy? Two tall boys. Very good. Two tall boys. How about a pretty butterfly? Pretty. Butter nice. Okay, so what is the rule again? Change. Change letter. Y. And, and add letter. I. -E -S. Very good. Change Y and add I E S. Okay, how about next? Next one. A clever student. So, 10. Ten. Clever. Clever. 
Clever. Students. Very good. Two, ten clever students. Okay. For your um practice, you will answer number eight to number twelve. You can just chat it here in our chat box. Okay. Number eight to number twelve. Okay. Yes, I did. You can just chat it here in our chat box, okay, Tan? Just let me know if you're done. Just let me know if you're confused, okay, so that I can teach you. Very good. Two heavy suitcases. Very good. Okay, how about for number nine? Saw meat. Very good. Saw meats or two kilo of meats. Okay, how about number 10? A new hat. And you have very good two new hats, and for number eleven, a famous actress. So two, there's a rule there. Look at the word actress. You will just add. What will you add? Two letters. Yes. Yes. Actresses. Okay, you write it down. Two Two famous. Two famous actresses. 
Okay, very good. So, it will be, or it will become two famous actresses. So, what did you add in the word actress? Yes. Yes, very good. E-S. Okay, how about the last number, a goose? What will you change in the word goose? It will become 10. Change two letter O into letter E. So it will become 10 geese. Right? Because you cannot say 10 gooses. Right? You cannot say 10 gooses. So you will just change O into E. So it will become 10 geese okay so now Tan you got all the correct answer but um, we will continue this activity on our next meeting since we have um, limited time left and now um, I will ask you some questions is it okay Okay, so what did you learn from our lesson today? You learned how to change uncountable nouns to Two countable Four. nouns. Okay, I will give you um okay, we don't have enough time left. So uh it's time for teacher to go. Thank you so much, Tan. I will see you in our next um class. Thank you.